Today is May 16th. On the 16th of May 1891, the International Electrotechnical Exhibition opens in Frankfurt, Germany, and will feature the world's first long distance transmission of high power, three phase electric current, the most common form today. The same day, three years prior, in 1888, a Serbian-American inventor, mechanical engineer and electrical engineer delivers a lecture describing the equipment which will allow efficient generation and use of alternating currents to transmit electric powers over long distance. Who was the futurist who gave this lecture? Follow the link uh, in the description of this video to submit your answers and win an amazing prize. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Smart by the Second. My name is Daan Veldhuis and today I'm here with Maria. Welcome Maria. Hello. So how are you? I'm good, a bit nervous, but uh, for the rest everything is fine. Yeah. Good to hear. Could you uh, introduce yourself shortly? Uh, yes, uh, so my name is Maria of course. Uh, some may know me as the old dick at Abacus. Uh, currently I'm doing my graduation, so... Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell more. I like sports, I like being outside, I like drinking beer, so <laughs> the typical uh, student activities. And although you like sports, you uh, signed up for the category media. Yes, because I like to do sports myself, but I really, really, really dislike knowing all the facts about sports. <laughs> so media is more of my uh, thing. Yeah, so. You watch a lot of uh, shows. Moi, a bit, Netflix. Listen a lot of music. Like in the past, I watched a lot of cartoons and TV shows when I was younger, so yeah. I hope this will be my round. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. So uh, we can uh, directly start with the first round. Oh. Anyone who's only a little into music will recognize artists like John Lennon and Slash, but only real fans will know a band without their most famous member. Here are nine pictures of bands where the frontman has been removed. So you'll see nine pictures of the screen Ooh. of the bands and the options are oh, yeah. the Foo Fighters, Green Day, Queen, U2, The Rolling Stones, Nirvana, The Cure, Arctic Monkeys and lastly Coldplay. So do you think you'll manage this round? Yeah, if uh, I don't then I disappoint my dad. So. <laughs> 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 yeah, so this is the first round, so yeah. we're looking for five correct answers. Yes. And the uh, time will start once, you've seen, uh, once you can see the first picture. Yes. All right, All good right. luck. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, Green Day, do I have to name the... No. Okay. Just a band name. Uh, this is The Cure, I think. Yeah. Uh, Rolling Stones. Uh, let me see, this is U2. Oh no, wait, this one was The Cure, so the other one... Wait, is it though? Uh, let's make this one Queen, in that case. Uh, Foo Fighters. Uh, Coldplay. Uh, Arctic Monkeys, I think, then. Uh, Nirvana. Time. Oh, no. Oh, so do you think there are five correct answers? Otherwise, you have three lifelines left to use. I think I have five correct answers, but... Let me see. One, two. Ah, uh, let's do one Joker in that case, <laughs> just, just to be sure. To be sure. <laughs> I think I messed up a couple of ones. We can go to checking the answers. So first up, this is Green Day, so it's a good start. My favorite yeah. band, so. <laughs> it's a free one in that yeah, case. Yeah, this one was Queen probably or not. Yes, this is yeah. Queen indeed. So. Next up is the Rolling Stones, who mm -hmm. wrote Mick Jagger. Then we have U2. And then the fifth one is The Cure. The sixth one is Nirvana. You already get yeah. five correct answers. Next is the Arctic Monkeys. Oh yeah, and then this one was... This uh, is Coldplay. Yeah. <laughs> and lastly, the Foo Fighters. Yeah. 
So uh, this is what nerves do to you guys. <laughs> this is what nerves do to you. No lifelines were needed, but oh, okay. we made it to the second round. Nice. So in the Beauty and the Beast, every object in the mansion is alive. Also the teacup Chip and his mother. They play quite a big role in the movie. Mostly they comfort Belle and serve her tea. In order to compensate for the big role that T gets in this movie, we want to give coffee a little bit more attention. So here are nine pictures of Disney films in latte art. Oh gosh, all right. So before the show, you told us that uh, Disney was one of your stronger uh, parts <laughs> of media. I hope so. Yeah, I think I know all of them. Yeah, I watched all of them, except for Pocahontas. So, yeah, so we will go through the uh, options. Yeah. So the nine options are The Beauty and the Beast, Pocahontas, Mulan, the Princess and the Frog, Aladdin, Frozen, The Lion King, The Little Mermaid, and lastly, Lilo and Stitch. All right. Right, so you will see the picture. Good luck. Thank you. A Little Mermaid, a Beauty and the Beast, a Frozen, a Pocahontas, a This is the Lion King, uh, Aladdin, uh, Lilo and Stitch, uh, Princess and the Frog, and the last one is Mulan and Stop the Time. Yes! So that sounded very confident. Yeah, this one was rather easy, so... Uh, yeah, so uh, no lifelines needed for the six no. correct answers. All right, then we'll go straight into checking the answers. Awesome. So, first up, there was indeed The Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. Then, next is... The Beauty and the Beast. Third one is Elsa from Frozen. Fourth one is Pocahontas. And we have The Lion King. And Aladdin. So that's already six correct answers. Oh, I think we uh, also checked Lilo and Stitch, which is all correct. Then we have here The Princess and the Frog. And lastly, Mulan. So that's nine correct, so that means yes. you get uh, another lifeline nice. going into round three. Still have uh, almost 200 seconds. Then we'll be okay. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, next up for the third round. Last year we started Smarter by the Second on Twitch as a live stream, and this year we have an actual studio. It, not, it may not be as nice and fancy as the sets from Opa or Jimmy Kim, uh, Kimmel, but we are more than happy with this upgrade. We hope that the Smarter with the Second set will be as iconic as the sets of these evening shows. So, here we'll have nine evening shows. Uh, you will see the set and you have to name the TV show. So your options are RTL Late Night, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, The Daily Show, Ellen, The Late Late Show with James Corden, De Wereld Draait Door, Sondag met Lubach, The Graham Norton Show and Saturday Night Live. Okay. <laughs> you also watched any of these shows? Yes, yeah, sometimes I see something passing on on Instagram or on YouTube, so we will see. We right. will see. You will once again see the picture. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, this is... Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, Airtel Late Night, I think. Um, uh, the Graham Norton show, something like that. This is Ellen, this one I know for sure. Uh, this is Saturday Night Live. Uh, this is Sondag met Lubach. Oh, this is... Um, Uh, the Late Late Show. Uh, actually, this one was Sondag met Lubach. The Wereld Draait Door, in that case then. And The Daily Show. Uh, last Week Tonight with John Oliver, in that case then. <laughs> Do you want to switch around or stop? Uh, yes, I want to switch Sondag met Lubach with The Wereld Draait Door. And The Wereld Draait Door with uh, Late Night Then uh, Stop the Time. 
All right, so there need to be seven correct answers. You still have three lifelines. Yeah. So you're a bit more struggling with this one than the previous yeah, one. Yeah, I oh I thought the the studio would be crowded, so uh. that would be a bit easier. But I think I'll put in two or something. All right, two lifelines will be yeah. used. And then we can go to checking the answers. So first up, it's the red studio from uh, De Wereld Draait Door. Without uh, Matthijs van Nieuwkerk, a bit hard to yeah. recognize. So, but you had the, it correct with the switching yeah. around at the yeah. end. So next up is the Graham Norton show. The third one is Ellen. So a good start. And the fourth one is Saturday Night Live. This is last week tonight. Mm. Really looks like uh, the yeah. song of Luba Studio, I agree uh, with you. This is the Late Late Show. Then this is Sondag met Lubach, and it's also your seventh correct answer. Yeah. Then we are uh, still left with The Daily Show and RTL Late Night. So you only s switch two, but they are both correct using the nice. lifelines, which means you get another lifeline. Oh, nice. And this brings us to the crucial point where you can choose mm -hmm. whether you want to play the foreground or not. You are still left with two lifelines and 65 seconds. And uh, one lifeline costs you 16 seconds. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, why not? That's Let's the spirit. See. Yeah. <laughs> we have to continue. <laughs> All right. Without news, we wouldn't know what is going on in the world. But lucky for us, the news does exist and we do not have to live in uh, our lives ignorant to all the terrible things happening around the globe. Here are nine news and weather presenters that go out of their way to deliver us our precious news. <laughs> so we have... Annegien Steenhuizen, Piet Paulusma, Jan de Hoop, Astrid Kersenboom, Rick van der Westerlaken, Dionne Staks, Gerry Eikhoff, Gerrit Hiemstra en Herman van der Zand. Do you often watch the news? No, <laughs> I think this is the point where all the Dutchies will be disappointed in me. I'm really sorry for not being ingeburgerd, but let's hope I get Piet Paulusma at least correct. Even though yes. I don't really remember what he looks like. But Yeah, you will see the pictures and uh, all nine of them need to be correct. All right. Best of luck. Ooh, thanks. Piet Paulusma, let's do that one. Uh, isn't that Dionne Stocks? I have no idea though. Um, let me see. Uh, Jan de Hoop. Oh, this is uh, Rick van Wesselaken. Uh, Herman van der Zand, probably. Uh, what's a nice name? Astrid Kersenboom. Uh, Anne Gien Steenhuizen. Maybe this was Piet Paulusma. This was Piet Paulusma. Uh, Gerrit Hiemstra, in that case. Or you can switch around Piet Paulusma and Gerrit Hiemstra. And this is uh, Gerry Eikhoff. Yeah, stop the time with four seconds, three seconds on the clock. Yeah, that unfortunately means that you do not yeah. have enough time to use your lifelines. So do you think all nine of them are correct? No, <laughs> definitely not. Ah, but either way, we'll check them to see uh, whether you uh, guess them all correctly. Yeah. So we start off with, indeed not, Piet Paulusma. Yeah. This is uh, Gerry Eikhoff. Yes. <laughs> so unfortunately, that's already yeah. your wrong answer. Oh, okay. Uh, but to finish off the list, this is Astrid Kersenboom. Next up, Jan de Hoop, you got that one right. Oh, yeah. And also Rick van der Westerlaken. And Herman van der Zand, you were on a streak here. Yeah. And then we have Annegien Steenhuizen. Oh, we already skipped that photo. This is Dionne Staks. And this is indeed Piet Paulusma. And lastly, Gerrit Hiemstra. Yes. So you put up a good fight. The yeah. first three rounds went uh, pretty well. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the last round was yeah. the hardest one. Dutch uh, news is my strongest point, so uh, <laughs> sad. But either way, we have the participation oh, award nice. for you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank it's you uh, very much for uh, being here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And to the viewers at home, we had a viewers question, and the answer to that question was Nikola Tesla. 
Congratulations to the winner and a prize will be on our way to you. Uh, thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you next time at a new episode.